introduced the Wheaton sprinkler system into the south central and southeastern United States, our goal was to see how the system would perform together with a cool cell tunnel ventilated poultry house. But well, one of the largest integrators in the United States took quite an interest in our concept and they asked us if we would do a comparison trial on one of their premium upgraded farms. And what that means is these, this was an eight house farm where they had upgraded the cool cells and the tunnel ventilation and they were using a high pressure fogging system as a backup to the cool cell. Their proposal was why don't we run four houses with high pressure foggers and four houses with the Wheaton sprinkler system. Well, we thought that was a great idea and we set the trial up. Unfortunately, in the first summer, when they had the hottest week of the summer, the birds were quite young. So we, we really didn't get a very good trial. But in the summer of 2011, the birds on that farm were at their maximum weight right before processing during the hottest week of the summer. Well, here's what happened. Uh, inside those four houses that had the high pressure foggers, Unfortunately, they continued to see very high mortality during the heat. They were losing 70 to 80 birds per day per house. So let's review for a second how high pressure foggers work. So what's happening there is the cool cell gets to a certain level, then the high pressure foggers come in as a backup. Unfortunately, introducing quite a bit of humidity because the concept of high pressure fogging is we're bringing a fog in, hoping that it will evaporate before it gets to the birds, and creating evaporative cooling, lowering the temperature inside the house, complementing the cool cell, which is already introducing a lot of humidity into that house. Okay, now we'll go over to the other four houses where we have the Wheaton sprinkler system. Well, they never reached 10 birds per day mortality in any of those four houses. So they were very happy, and let's review that concept. Okay, what happens with the Wheaton sprinkler system is, sprinklers come on, birds stand up, heat is released from underneath the birds, we exhaust that heat out of the barn, and then they're left with water on the backs of their heads and on their backs to create wind chill with the tunnel ventilation. Okay, so they were very pleased to see how well the Wheaton sprinkler system complemented the cool cells. And remember that when the cool cell comes on, it reached a certain temperature, and then the Wheaton sprinkler system had three levels of cooling after that. Well, this story kind of went like fire through this integrator, and today we have sprinklers now in all of their complexes around that state. Some of them just getting started in various degrees of trials, some of them well established. So when people ask us today, is the Wheaton sprinkler system a good complement to a cool cell tunnel ventilated broiler house or a turkey house? We say you betcha.